Good morning. It's Monday, the 13th of November 2017. Welcome along to this morning's United Kingdom talk, which I didn't expect to be here, to be honest. Uh, no, I, well, I'm not going to die. It's OK. I'm not on my, I hope I'm not on my way out anyway. I've got a lot more to say before I go. I really have. No, I don't, not usually with you on a Monday. Hang on a minute. Me, um, oh, where's me, me rubber bands come off? Whatever it's called, this rubber thing. It keeps this nice and sort of uh, bouncy. <coughs> so that when I bang something, you can't hear it too well. If, if, if that wasn't there, every time I moved around in here, you'd hear a noise. You know, like being next to a newly married couple in a hotel. The slighted bang, bang, bang all night long. God sake. No, I, I'm not usually here on a Monday morning because, of course, at 10 o'clock, in uh, about 35 minutes time, I've got my music and chat show, which is on uploadradio.com. So I will finish before that. Uh, otherwise, you'll be trying to listen to two things at the same time. OK, so uh, I thought I'd come up here this morning. I got up around about nine, uh, uh, about, uh, about 8.45 this morning. And I thought I'll knock one out uh, before, be <laughs> before I... Uh, uh, do the music and chat show this morning. So here we are. All right. Welcome along. Who's first in with the messages today? Let me spy my evil eye over to computer number one. And it do say, oh, it's Ants Galloway getting the first message in this morning. Good morning, Ants. Nice. Has that moved? Just a moment. That's moved a bit, hasn't it? There we are. Uh, nice to see you on Saturday night, Matt. Uh, uh, Ants Enjoy, I think you were enjoying, enjoying the cabaret on Saturday night at Central Station, weren't you, Ants? There you go, he was always in there with his two mates. Good morning to you, sir. Now, why does that keep moving? I don't know. Like... <laughs> There's a camera that's moving. Uh, it must be that list of passwords I've got there. Here's, here's something that you want, boys and girls. Look at this. Do you know what this is? This is my password list. Oh, yes. Kept carefully in a secret location, only known by me. Yes. No thieves in this house. Good morning to Adam the Plumber. Morning, Adam, on this cold Monday morning. My God, was it cold last night. We did the karaoke last night, of course, in the uh, Camden Eye in Camden Town. I'm doing another karaoke tonight. A usual Monday night karaoke is at Central Station, Wharfdale Road in King's Cross this evening. That starts at 8 o'clock and finishes at 11.30, along with cheap drinks as well. It just gets better and better in the world, doesn't it? Cheap drinks and karaoke every Monday night. And we've just celebrated our second year uh, of karaoke's in this venue. Two, I can't believe two years ago we started doing karaoke at Central Station on Mondays. The Friday has been going three years now. My God, how quickly that's gone! And I remember I, I was working at a place called the City of Quebec doing their karaoke on karaoke on a Monday. And I, I loved I absolutely loved it there. I got to say, I loved it there. The clientele were were all uh, of an age. OK, I, I would imagine the average age in there was probably about 55. OK, but it was fantastic. I loved it in there. Unfortunately, uh, the manager I had, uh, the assistant manager decided to cancel all cabaret at one point, including the karaoke. So I went from there and I offered it to the same venue I do the karaoke on a Friday. And I said uh, this it was about sort of this time, I think a little bit earlier, perhaps. And I said, um <clears throat> I, I mean, I didn't start it. I think I offered it to him in September and I had a little think about it. And I said, look, run it till Christmas. And if it's no good, that's all right. When we've tried. Yeah, go on then, Chris. And we run it and we're still here two years later. Isn't that fantastic? No, so two news. So two years ago, we started that. And I just don't know where the time went. I really don't. Last night, we did karaoke at the Camden and I and was trying some new um, new way of bringing the show to you, of streaming the karaoke show to you last night. Instead of doing it <clears throat> all on the Apple phone, okay, the Apple 8 phone, instead with... Do you like the cover? Look at the colour of that. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful, that cover. Should be for 35 quid for a cover, dear. Yeah, it's, well, it's an Apple one. But it... Um, it actually was my mate who spun. He said, oh, look at that one. Such a nice colour. You get all sorts of cases for these, can't you? Have you seen the ones with the little lights all around them so you can do selfies? God, the people that do selfies all night long. 
I mean, how many pictures of yourself can you take, for Christ's sake? If you want to take a load of pictures, do videos like me every day. Except I don't sit there and look at them. Oh, look at me. Oh, there's me. Oh, it's one of me. Oh, there's one of me. Oh, me. Oh, me. 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 They're all night long. They're just doing blooming selfies. Does anyone ever look back at them? No. Same as you don't look back at these old shows. Once it's gone, it's gone. That's it, isn't it? Who wants to watch this old rabbit in years to come? In 200 years' time, this show will be dug up from the ground somewhere. Oh, this is how they all used to live and dress. In nice Ted Baker and Ralph Lauren shirts. Thank you very much. So last night, as I say, um, I was using one webcam, which is actually this, exactly the same model as I'm talking to you on. It's a wider screen, OK? <coughs> and a laptop. And the same software that I'm using to bring this to you. The way I used to do, well, the way I have been doing karaoke is literally to put this on a, on a stand, plug some sound directly into it and just leave it there. So we're getting a little bit more technical. Um, uh, so, so I did it that last night and it was tethered or whatever you want to call it into the phone to use that as the internet connection. So there's a lot of wireless going around, and I wasn't sure how that would go down. But it didn't work badly at all. I think the picture froze a couple of times, but it didn't drop out. You didn't lose us at all last night. So I'm quite pleased with the results of that. I've got the laptop downstairs. Tonight, we're going to try and do it with two cameras and see how that goes. Because, as you know, here in the studio, we have a couple of cameras. Uh, I've only got two in here now, one over there and one over here, right? Uh, the third one I've now got downstairs and I'm going to take it down to the karaoke tonight and we'll see how we get on with two cameras. Uh, it's not in the same sort of area as the Sunday night karaoke, so it may be that the internet isn't so good there. I have to use either 3G or 4G, OK? Uh, last night we were over the 4G network. Tonight, I hope, I think in King's Cross, I'd be very surprised if we haven't got the 4G in there. You can't use the pub Wi-Fi. Pub Wi-Fis are notoriously slow. Or they might be work one minute they're working and then bang, it's off. You know, so you can't use a pub Wi-Fi or plug directly into a router because that's all the way upstairs. So we're going to try that one tonight and uh, see how that goes. And that should be uh, live from about eight o'clock tonight. OK, boys and girls, that's here on the Facebook Live. If you're not on the Facebook Live and you're watching on YouTube or Periscope, uh, the show's on Facebook Live. Facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon. UK is my um, Facebook um, uh, uh, uh profile on there uh, page on there that you might want to join there so you can see the fact so you can see the karaoke live oh no uh, no i'll be using this i'll be using this so hopefully however you're watching this you'll be able to watch the karaoke tonight as well youtube periscope all of those are going to try and put it on all of them as i do with this show and fingers crossed always looking for the next thing aren't i <clears throat> i'm never ever happy to sit still with this thing it's funny really i'm looking forward to holograph videos you know where i can sit next to you in your room and you'll be able to touch me boys and girls you'll be able to touch me while i'm there won't be no nope, no court cases don't worry no court cases no nope, no picture on the front page of the daily mail no nope. i will sit next to you in your living room and you can touch and grope and feel as much as you want and i won't complain Oh, oh, 20 years ago, he touched me. Oh, please. Now, you know, honestly, you'll be able to touch and listen and have a little stroke now and again. A little stroke if you want to, you know, like a cat. I'll be able to sit on your lap. Everything, everything. No holds barred. No court cases. No daily mail. All right. I promise you that. I promise you that. Ha! <laughs> Good morning to you, Jonathan. Morning, sir. Welcome along to the show. I think you're new, aren't you, Jonathan? Welcome to our little bit of fun that we do each morning. Uh, good morning to Kevin Bell. Good morning. Good morning. Make your day a sun-blessed day. It's so full of goodness for you. That might be the wrong words to the actual song. That was the words to the advert, because it used to use, used to be used playing um, some uh, uh, advertising sun-blessed bread, you see. <clears throat> which is nice if you like, um, you know, soft bread in a bit, in a bit of plastic. I, I'm, I haven't had bread for ages, God, because I'm on the Slimming World, so we don't have bread. Very, very rarely. Although last night, bless me, Linda, 
from Slimming World Wokingham, I have sinned. I had last night a pizza at work. Dun, dun, dun. I allow myself one treat a week. I think I've had two this week, actually. It was that one. No, maybe only one. Maybe I've only had one this week, I think. It was a pizza, you know, so size. Not the same sort of pizzas that you get in Pizza Hut where there's that much dough. No, this is like the thin. The thin with a little bit of a cheese on top. <clears throat> oh, it was delicious. They gave it to me free of charge in the Camden Eye where I work. How kind is that? <clears throat> How kind is that? I really do, really enjoy, do enjoy that Sunday night karaoke, I must say. Last night was, uh, it was a quiet start last night. I won't lie to you. But uh, so we start at eight o'clock where... And we didn't have too many people in before nine o'clock. And then they started coming in and it got busy. So, yes, Camden I karaoke in Camden Town every Sunday night from eight o'clock. All right. Morning. Um, uh, Ants has lost another pound this morning. We'll have a look on the floor, Ant. It must be there somewhere, darling. Where have you lost that, my love? It mu You know where sometimes I lose money, Ant, is when you've got loose coins in your pocket and you go to the toilet. You go in the toilet and you sit down, you take your trousers down. And sometimes if you've got carpet, I haven't got carpet in my bathroom. Oh, have you got? You haven't, have you? Carpet in the bathroom. Oh, it's awful, dear. Awful. Have you seen that like fluffy pink carpet? You can. We had that when I was married. Oh, it was awful. And it goes in the bathroom. Slightly, it's a bit wet and it's horrible and nasty. Oh, no. Get rid of that carpet in the bathroom. But that's happened. So when you pull your trousers down and sit down on the toilet, the coins drop out, you see. Regard to uh, Omar. Good morning, you, sir. Welcome along to the show. Your coins drop out of the pocket onto the toilet floor. So do be careful, OK? Yeah, along with uh, when you go down to pick them up, sometimes you find a little bit of toilet paper that you, you hasn't actually made it into the bowl. You haven't looked around properly. So be careful what you're putting your hands down there, OK? Very, very dangerous. <laughs> My favourite toilets were at a place called Trade, but that's another subject. Good morning to uh, Merlin this morning. Morning, Merlin. I hope your chest infection has now fully gone and left left your chest for another person. It's jumped off you onto someone else. It's, uh, hang on a minute. <coughs> nope, I hasn't gone into my mouth. I'm very, very pleased, Merlin, that yours hasn't gone into my mouth. Um... Umar wants to know, how much is that phone? Well, this is the cheapest one that they had. Can't remember what it was now. Uh, this is not the iPhone 10. OK, this is the 8. And it's the lowest one. So whatever that is, you'll have to look it up. Can't remember now. All right. It's the 64 gig one. I, I don't need 256. I, I, ne I never filled up the old one. So I didn't think I'd ever fill up this one. But I haven't actually done any outside videos with it yet. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Sometimes we do a little mobile recorded show, don't we? Um, so I'll do one on there at some point And then we'll see what the quality of that like is that, that is like. All right. Good morning to uh, Robert Dexter. Good morning, Robert. I hope you're well this morning. Peter Pan Neverland is in freezing Yorkshire. Da, 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 da. Oh, Yorkshire. What a beautiful county. <clears throat> when I went to uh, two caravan holidays this year, I think I've been uh, to Yorkshire and driving through. I don't know what the name of the road is, but it's just beautiful Yorkshire. And what was that little fishing place I went? Scarborough? Scarborough? Is that a fishing village in Scarborough? I think we went there, which I was very impressed with it. I liked it very much. Um, and when you're driving through the countryside, my favourite bit was the little pig houses, you know? Where they're obviously not pigs that are um, uh, factory farms. They've all got these little houses, all, all in neat rows. And you see the pigs, they're so happy. They're so happy, not knowing that they're going to have a bolt in their head at some point, I suppose. But, you know, at least they're happy for that period of time. Do like Yorkshire. I think I need to buy properties in Yorkshire. What do you reckon? Shall I move there? Is the Have you got 300 meg internet there? No? Oh, I don't think I'll be able to move there then. <laughs> Perhaps I could arrange Virgin Media <coughs> to put in an extension cable from Bracknell to Yorkshire just so I can continue doing my shows from the Yorkshire Dales. And Emma Dale. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. There's some people watching this show this morning that are so old, they remember when Emma Dale Farm was just a shed. Honestly, did you know that? <laughs> Morning, Kevin. 
thank you, Ants. Uh, Ants has, uh, has, uh, has given permission for himself to be touched. Now, Ants, I don't know <coughs> if I will be able to touch you, even though you've said that. And the reason is, you know, you might then go to court, take me to, well, I never said that. <coughs> Nope. I think I'm going to have to print off some forms. Uh, you know, with a, to who it may concern, I give express permission for Chris Reardon to touch me in any way he wants. <laughs> Is that a good idea? Morning to Mr. Ray Reynolds. <coughs> morning, Ray. Hope you're well this morning, Ray. Uh, Mark Kempner there is there. Good morning, Mark. I replied to your message. I only saw it there this morning. I am indeed there on the, was it the 11th? 11th of December, whatever date that was, I'm, I'm there uh, every Saturday now, right the way through, actually, OK? I don't think that I've got a Saturday off now until um, April next year, all right? Morning, Rory. Good morning, Rory. How lovely to see you. Rory is in the house. Rory, I worked with at a, a lovely place, actually, in Dulwich called The Cherry Tree a couple of years ago now. And uh, we got on very well. Uh, while I was doing the karaoke there, he was behind the bar, but it worked between us, you know, shouting things at each other across the bar. Salam to Ontot. Welcome to you, sir. OK. And holla to Ontot as well. Uh, yes, Ray Reynolds, styes in your eyes. Oh, there's no styes in my eyes, darling. Where's the styes? There's no styes in my eyes at the moment. Good morning, Christina, down there in uh, Portsmouth. Morning, Christina. Welcome along to the show. And... Um, What's uh, what's seal number one in the north? Oh, it's minus one in Newcastle, Jonathan. Oh, well, stay in. Don't go out. Don't go out. Very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. And just open your door a little bit in case there are wild cats that need your warmth and cuddling this morning. Hmm. Could be an idea. Well, uh, yesterday, um, very strange in church yesterday. The uh, there was a they, they, the, the the priest he's sitting there and doing his. Bit and piece. Do you know I was? A, I've had terrible wind for days now. Oh, it's been awful. You don't mind me telling you that, do you? I've had the most awful. I don't know what's. I I made this spaghetti arabetta sauce on Thursday, <clears throat> and I made enough for four portions: one in the freezer and three out. So I had one, and then it started a few hours later, and it's carried on right up to yesterday. Now I didn't have any spaghetti sauce, so it's, so it's got to be that. I think it must be the fact that I put an entire bag of garlic in there. <laughs> You know, you read the recipe and it says, put three cloves of garlic in. But I buy the frozen garlic. I mean, it's not hard to work out how many three cloves is just by, you know, by size. Because <coughs> there's nothing. Have I got this chest infection off Merlin? <coughs> no, I don't think so. You know, you know when you've got a chest infection. You know, so your little clove of garlic like that. You just measure out how much you see. You could put it in. Like, no, I have to put the old bag in. And I did look it up. Garlic, gar <laughs> garlic is really bad for causing that. So it's got to be the amount of that I've put in. Anyway, hopefully that, that will clear. I was at church this morning. Uh, Jason, good morning, Jason, uh, whose birthday it is today. Jason Alexander, happy birthday, darling. How old are you this morning? I'll sing to you in a minute. How old are you this morning, Jason? Are you, are you 42? Something like that. I've known Jason for about 20 years, worked with him in... Um, in a, in a wonderful place called the Black Cat, which is sadly not open at the moment. They're trying to reopen it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm sitting there last night. I walked in, Vivian's sitting there in a lovely green coat, Vivian. That's a lady I always sit next to her in church last night, yeah, uh, on a Sunday. And um, I was, di oh, I was dying to go, <laughs> I was dying to pass, but I was holding it in. I thought at one point I was going to burst. It was so bad. And then we were sitting down for one of the readings and someone else passed wind. Because when you're sitting on those wooden benches and it suddenly vibrates, <laughs> you know that someone's done that. I think it was Vivian. I think it was Vivian who sits next to me. She's very proper, Vivian, and we love her very much. We'll never have something badly said about Vivian. She's a proper Catholic, proper Catholic. She sits there on the, on the, on the right of me. <clears throat> And I felt the bench vibrate. It wasn't me. I'm sitting there, but I'm getting bigger and bigger. And suddenly it stops, though, doesn't it? You know, that desperate need. What happens to the air? Is it absorbed back into your body or something? 
dreadful. Anyway, I managed to get through the whole mass without doing it. Once that had finished, I was out, and as soon as I was away from the church, <laughs> like that on the on my bike on the way home, because I cycled to and from church on a Sunday. Yeah, it was a bit cold yesterday as well. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going through 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 the mass, and um, suddenly uh, Father says, "Oh, you're going to hear a, a fire alarm now, any moment now." And this alarm went off. Nee 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 nee. Good morning, Mark. Nee 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 nee. What the hell was that in a church? Yeah, he said, "Right." He said, "Just to let you know, don't do anything. That is just a test. However, after today, if you hear that, then you need to evacuate." Calmly and uh, slowly. I thought you were having a laugh, didn't you? That lot in there, they'd be scrambling over e each other, trying to get out the door. Oh, dear, dear me. And then he said, if this, this is Father David of uh, Corpus Christi Wokingham, then he said, if there's anyone who's disabled or in wheelchairs, stay where you are and you'll be taken somewhere else. What's that? They'd be still burning in there. You know, people pushing, burning wheelchairs towards doors. <coughs> Except they wouldn't because no one would bother, would they? Oh, God, let's get out. You've seen how people panic. They'll be climbing over each other trying to get out of that thing. So we've got a fire alarm in the church. I've never heard anything like it. I've never known churches to have fire alarms. Uh, what can what can go, what can burn? You know, there's the candles, yes. But then around the candles, everything's stone, even the floor. The floor is like, it's like, I don't know, like paving stuff, like, like some sort of paving stones. Behind it, it's brick wall. Then there's a a, 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 a statue, mate. Well, it's not, that's not wood. There's nothing wooden there. I'm thinking, well, what can burn in here? And, of course, the chairs. You know, the chairs, which are nowhere near the candles. Now, they're all wooden and long. You know, as mentioned, they're wooden chairs so that anyone passes wind. Everyone in there knows. I'm sure it was... I don't know if it was Vivian. I should have asked her, did you just pass wind, Vivian? She would have fallen off all laughing. What's going to burn? I don't know. Anyway, that's not all. He said, right, in a couple of weeks, we're going to have a fire drill as well. I said, are you serious? In the middle of the winter? I'm not moving. No, I'm not moving. Besides, we're supposed to be in the church. Isn't fire to do with hell? Why are we getting fire in church? No, he's made a mistake there, hasn't he? You know, made a mistake there. You don't get fire in church. Only coldness and happiness. <laughs> so a fire alarm in church. We're g <laughs> I've got to try and get that on the video, and I. We're going to have a fire drill in church. <laughs> oh, dear me. Whatever next. And not only that, but he has dragged the church into the 22nd century this week. Oh, yes, we've got a camera in there. A camera. <clears throat> so that, and I know why he's done this, although he didn't say, he didn't say exactly what it is. The camera now takes the mass or service, whatever you want to call it. Good morning, Ross. Into the little Kenyan rooms. Now, the Kenyan rooms, it's like a hall. It's like the church hall. So you go in, into there. And if you want, if for some reason you want to come out of the church and go in there, you can go in there and watch the mass on the telly. Why you would want... I can understand why he's done that for noisy babies. He's sitting there trying to listen. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's why he's done it. Although he didn't say that. He didn't say that. So that I reckon that's what it's for. <clears throat> and then you can go in there. And then, then he says, we're also looking at a way of connecting it to the internet so people can watch the mass from wherever in the world. I thought he's really dragging us into the 20 seconds. Maybe we'll be on Facebook uh, next. And then it dawned on me. What if Father David starts looking for people on Facebook? I am afraid. I am very, very afraid. I hope we don't start looking through my pictures. Oh, my God. I shall be dragged out of there. <laughs> oh, Vivian. No, none of them have got my Facebook in that church, you know. Ha! <laughs> I hope they don't looking at my old topless photographs when I was in my 30s when I had fit body. Actually, it's not too bad now, actually. Joan, whose birthday it was yesterday, 
Joan, who comes, uh, who came to the karaoke last night, said, I can't believe how much weight you've lost, Chris. Well done. We're all on the slimming world. There's me, there's Ants, there's Adam the Plumber. He's having a little blip at the moment, Adam, but he'll get back on track. And, of course, the great Wendy, whose weight is falling off. Wendy, um, I don't know if she's with us this morning, actually. Wendy <coughs> was in the shop the other week in, in the... Um, in the department store where she was work, as she was looking around, someone picked her up and tried to purchase her as a piece of string. Well, what are you doing? And, you know, they're like, oh, my God, that piece of string is talking. No, it's Wendy. She's lost so much weight, dear. Terrible. Oh, that's, that's my front door, that is. Is anyone going to ring? No, that means the postman has been. Maybe it's another check coming into my account. I do hope so. That might be the money for the solar panels this month. Oh, yes, I oh, no, I've got that already. £49 I got from solar panels um, this quarter. That's not bad, is it? £49 on the solar panels. The government uh, give you so much money back, depending on how much electricity you've made there. So uh, that was church. I do I do hope they're not looking me up on the, on the Facebook, though. Oh, that really will be the end. And yesterday, this little girl, she always sits in front of me with her mum. She's about... About four or five years old, maybe. And she had with her, you'll love this, she had um, with her... Good morning, Bombi. Morning, Bombing. Bombing bit. Bombing bit. Bombi. Bombi. I like that name, Bombi. This little girl who sits in front of me. And she's got a soft, cuddly doy, toy cat with her. <clears throat> and she turned... And she, you know, usually there's a bit in the mass where we like, let us offer each other the sign of peace. And you shake everyone's hands, okay? And she was turning around, and as I come in, hello. That's the first time she spoke to me. First time, I said, hello, how are you? She said, I've got my cat, and she's got this little soft cat. And I start stroking it, and she's giving it to me, this cat. I said, oh, isn't it nice? I give it back to her. <coughs> Vivian's joining in as well now. She's stroking the cat as well. Um, <clears throat> and then she kept throwing it at me, this cat. <laughs> and then... Halfway, at the beginning, all the children go off to the other room and they get sort of some sort of religious lesson. And then they come back. As she's come back in, it's, you know, it's quiet in the church. She said really loud. She said, we're back. <laughs> and give me the cat again. Oh, how cute and sweet was that? Isn't that lovely? We love children. Don't understand people who say, oh, I don't like children. Oh, don't be so miserable. Miserable, miserable people. They're awful, ghastly people. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. Um. Jason says, only had wind for days. Who are you kidding? What do you mean? 26, Jason, you're older than 26, darling. More likely 46. Good morning, Chris. Chris is trumped as well this morning. Good morning, Chris. Uh, Ray Reynolds, everyone knows when it's windy. Thames Television theme tune when it came from Kingsway with Eamon Andrews. Oh, yes. Morning, Kevin. Uh, Kevin Bell, how the hell are you guys losing weight? Once you hit your 40s, it's as hard as hell to lose. It's what you eat and how you eat. Uh, it's what you eat and how you cook it, Kevin, basically. If you want to lose weight, go to Slimming World. Go to Slimming World, you'll do it. <coughs> you will be able to do it, okay? Bombi says that's adorable. Oh, she was a lovely little girl, she was, sitting there with her mum in front. She got a young mother. Now, where are they from? Hungary. The mother's from Hungary. I think the girl hasn't got an accent at all. She's uh, English, I think. All right. <coughs> Uh, don't forget, gang, I'm only with you for another five minutes because we're um, uh, I've got my music and chat show to do, which you can listen to as well at 10 o'clock this morning in about 10 minutes time, uh, UK time. OK, now I did have a couple of stories here. There we go. Now, Amazon, look at this from I can't believe this. Now, I've always been a big, big fan of Amazon. I would say I buy... 95% of things that I buy now off Amazon. It's so easy. One click and it comes in the post. I haven't got the Amazon Prime. I wouldn't bother with any of the television stuff. £75 a year, I think it's quite dear. So I just order as and when. And I probably, you know, to be honest, it would be better for me to have the Amazon Prime, to be, to be fair, um, simply because I order so much stuff. But in the Daily Mail this morning, check this out. Amazon 
has, if you li- if you buy from Amazon, you want to hear this, okay? Oh, Bumby's got Netflix. Yes, um, my sister's got Netflix, and I've got her. She lends me her code, so I'm watching at the moment on Netflix, uh, Star Trek and Dynasty. Just two programs I watch on there. There's a lot on there, I must say. Looking forward to the new series of The Crown as well, because I think that's coming out very soon. Amazon <clears throat> have been slammed by customers for introducing a sneaky fee of £3.99 for its same-day delivery service. Under the new arrangement, customers are expected to pay £3.99 plus a £2 tip for the driver on orders up to £40. What's this £2 tip to a delivery driver? (coughs) Since when have any delivery drivers started being paid tips? Amazon uh, customers pay an annual fee of £79, become a member of its Prime service on the basis that this covers free delivery of unlimited purchase through the year. However, shoppers with the US giant who want same-day delivery under its Prime Now service, so they've already got the Prime service, are being hit with fees on top of the subscription. That's outrageous. Before the change... Amazon had a minimum order of £20 to get free same-day delivery through Prime now. Now the minimum order has come down to £15. However, any order below £40 comes with the £3.99 fee. Prime now, which specialises in delivering food, groceries, health, beauty and home products, launched in 2015 and operates here in the UK in London, Birmingham, Newcastle, Manchester, Liverpool, with more areas to come. The US web giant's decision risks alienating customers with people giving up on using Prime now and switching back to conventional supermarket. Well, I would I would switch back to conventional supermarket. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. One customer wrote three pound ninety nine for delivery. When we already pay 80 pound a year for Prime membership, will we we will be cancelling. Another man wrote, adding £3.99 delivery charges to orders under £40. Without notice, is very sneaky and not cool. Are they allowed to do that? <clears throat> I mean, that is just wrong, isn't it? That is wrong. So, I mean, if they did that, I mean, I order as and when. I'm waiting for a couple of little wires to come at the moment through the post. But I order as and when. And um, so I don't suppose it will affect me. But if I was on Prime... And I was already paying that 80 quid a year. I'd be really annoyed by that, wouldn't you? I really would. OK, um, let's have a look. Uh, Kevin says, uh, I just hate that feeling hungry all the time. Kevin, you not on Slimming World, you don't, mate. It's not Weight Watchers. We don't go out and have small portions. Listen, I have dinner sometimes. I'm stuffed. It's what you eat and how you cook it, Kevin. It's not portion sizes. What if I told you you could have a full English breakfast? Eh? You can have a full English breakfast every morning on Slimming World if you want. Eggs, beans, sausages, all that business. Tomatoes, mushrooms, not done in oil, spray light. What if that's just one example? You do not go hungry on Slimming World. I promise you that now. I'm not hungry at all. There you go. See? Good morning, William. In Adelaide this morning. He's all over the place, William. I don't know how you do all that flying, William. Right, uh, I'm going to do today's birthdays now, boys and girls, and then we're gone because at 10 o'clock, I've got my music and chat show. You can find that by going to uploadradio.com. Okay, upload. Is it .com or .co.uk? Hang on a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. Upload, upload, radio. Dot com. It's uploadradio.com, isn't it? It's also... No, it's not. Incorrect. I thought that was wrong. Upload. Uh, have I got this wrong? <coughs> oh, what have I done now, dear? ba 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 da 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 No, that's not working either. Ah, there it is. Uploadradio.com. Four minutes time. It's my music and chat show, boys and girls. OK, join me on there. I'll tell you once more before the show ends, uh, finishes. Uh, this morning's birthdays. Happy birthday to David Jackson on this Monday, the 13th 
of November. He's 27 years old today. Happy birthday, David. Not the youngest one today, though. Uh, Peter Andre, it says here, Peter Andre. I don't think that's the actual Peter Andre. It's someone with Peter Andre's surname. Uh, but he's 21 years old today. Happy birthday, Peter. Nabil Romy, I know you, sir. Long time no see. Happy birthday, Nabil. Uh, Nux Enola, uh, happy birthday to you. Jason Alexander, my friend, you've hidden your age on there, haven't you? Happy birthday, Jason. Always friends, always friends. Uh, Siphon Leon Cox today is 36 years old today, so happy birthday to you. Uh, yesterday's birthdays I'll do as well this morning, as we weren't here yesterday. Uh, Ferenc Collins, Ferenc Collins, happy birthday to you for Sunday. Joan, the lovely Joan who turned up at the karaoke last night. Happy birthday, 45 now. Happy birthday, Joan. Uh, hello, Jen Fidel. Fidai, happy birthday. Jeffrey French, how's the video going, Jeff? Is it finished yet? He's making a film. I'm in it. Jeffrey French, happy birthday, Jeffrey. Kyle Keane, Katie Smith, Samantha Warren, DJ Simply Wood. That's a nice picture. That is a nice picture. All right. Keith Romberg and Joshua. Melendez is 52 years old yesterday. Let's sing you the song, gang. <laughs> 43, is it, Jason? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Have a nice birthday, boys and girls, on this lovely Monday. Don't forget, uh, only one minute to go, boys and girls. Join me at uploadradio.com. It's in DAB in various parts of uh, the UK. Probably the best way for you to listen is by going to uploadradio.com and just click, click the Listen Now button. Uploadradio.com, click Listen Now. Uh, Bombi said, I had a Weight Watchers microwave carbonona last night. It was foul. Yeah, it's not Weight Watchers. Slimming World, completely different. Holla to Expense, who joins us at the end. Uh, Omar, yes, indeed. Uploadradio.com for my music and chat show starting in just one minute. Tonight, karaoke at Central Station, Wharfdale Road, King's Cross. It's a Monday sing-along. Uh, you'll be able to watch that here on uh, Facebook.com and all the other methods that you're using to watch this if everything works out OK. Have a lovely Monday and enjoy me uh, music and chat show at 10. See you very soon. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye bye now.